Do you want more wow in your life? Do you want more fulfillment, more depth, more meaning, more peace, more joy, real profound joy? Here's the thing. You can get more wow through pleasure and the world and some synthetic substances, but it won't last. What I'm going to share with you is the only pathway I know for real wow in your life. Are you ready? You know, when I look at my life, I say to myself, my gosh, I'm half a century old. Yes, I am. And I look at myself as a wow. <laughs> really, that's all I could say, just wow. I look, I look at my, my marriage, you know, for the past 19 years, it's just, just been phenomenal. It didn't start that way, by the way, but now it's just, I'm reaping the, the fruits and the harvest of, of just just you know following trying to follow God and doing the right thing at the start and uh, you know I look at my kids and my kids are, are awesome you know and I, I look at my the, the, the ministries the little ministries that we're doing is beautiful I look at my small businesses and, and they're they're just they're just going serving other people you know I look at my life and I say wow I look at my friends the quality of my friends is amazing you know people of, of genuine heart and love and and it's it's just you know I'm not saying my life doesn't have problems my life has problems lots of them but I look at my life and I say God's there God is there and, and, and that's why wow is there can I define wow to you here it is, wanting to obey the word, <laughs> wanting to obey the word. You know, in my life, I've not obeyed God many, many times and I've fallen short. I have failed God so many times and yet what I can present to God that I wanted to obey the word and I struggled and I struggled and one of the beautiful things about God is that he meets me right there halfway. He is a God who says, you know, I honor your struggle and you may have failed but you struggled to obey me and I honor that and I give you the grace and the forgiveness and so I speak God's word to you right now. Have you failed God? If you have, you know, and you just tell him, Lord, I want to obey you and I, I, I'm struggling to obey you and I receive your Holy Spirit, I receive your grace and he will bless you. You know, obeying the word looks so, so old fashioned and so, my gosh, so killjoy, but actually it's the very opposite. The only way to have real joy is to obey the word. Now, you don't have to know Greek or Latin or Hebrew to know the word. You know, if you really think about it, Jesus gives us two greatest commandments. Love God, love your neighbor. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. You love yourself, you know, you should. You should love yourself and value yourself. I know a lot of people who are going through all sorts of problems because they don't love themselves, you know. Someone taught them not to love themselves. So first things first, you've got to love yourself. And because you love yourself and because you value yourself, you know, in the same way, love other people. This is the Word of God. Will you obey that every single day? You know, God doesn't go into the specifics or to the details of, you know, where will you go? What will you do? What, what dress will you wear for crying out loud? But follow these two great commandments wanting to obey the word every day of your life follow these two greatest commandments every single day you know what I, I God doesn't go to the specifics he puts a canvas in front of you and then he gives you paint and he says paint the most beautiful painting and it's so tempting to go to God and say, Lord God, what kind of painting? You know, should it be abstract? Should it be real realism? Should it be cubism? Should it be what style? What color? And God says, oh, it's up to you. Paint the most beautiful painting. Love God and love others. When you want to obey the word, it's going to happen.
Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez and welcome to Full Tank, your place of inspiration. I pray that you will be inspired as I read the gospel. I do this from Monday to Friday and our gospel today is Luke chapter 1 and it talks about, verse 26 to 38, it talks about Mama Mary receiving a visit from the angel and the angel said, you know, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with, look, look at this, in verse all the way, and the angel tells Mama Mary what she's supposed to do, and then, and then verse 38, I am the handmaid servant of the Lord, Mama Mary says, be it done unto me according to your word. And she wanted to obey the word. And may we become Mama Mary. May we also say, I am the handmaid servant of the Lord. Father in heaven, I pray for every friend watching this video. I pray that you give them a great weekend, but most especially, may they be obedient to your word. I pray, Father, for your Holy Spirit work in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, may their obedience open up their lives for more joy, peace, and love, and strength in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, guys, for this opportunity. Listen to me. If you do not have yet a spiritual community, and, um, you know, I really believe we need, we really need one. You know, all of us do. Um, just in case you don't have one, you can join the feast. Um, go to feast.ph and then, you know, look at, at the, all the other feasts that we have. They're all over the world. Um, you can even start one <laughs> by, by starting a, a feast light. And uh, again, you know, go through that web page and find out more about what we do. And then, thank you so much for, for being there, for being part of Full Tank. God bless you, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. I have a favor to ask. If you have not yet done so, subscribe to this podcast. Because that's how these things work, you know, the algorithm, etc. Somewhere, somehow, it gets up into the ranking and then people will get to know more about it and people will listen and then people will be blessed and then the blessings will ripple and more and more people will experience God's love. Thank you again for all your support and I will see you next time.